Hi everyone, welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an overview and some benchmarks on this new product from Crucial. This is the Crucial Adrenaline 50 gigabyte SSD cache drive. Now if you're not familiar with SSDs in general, you can check out our SSD video on Newegg TV, which should give you a fair explanation of what SSDs are all about. But this is a cache drive and what is intended to do is be used in tandem with an existing mechanical hard drive. And uh, you can use it with an existing hard drive that you already have Windows 7 installed on. You do need Windows 7 in order to use this software-based caching solution. Uh, but you can install the SSD on top of your existing Windows installation, uh, set it up with the Dataplex software, which I'll show you in just a sec, and then you will get enhanced performance from your hard drive without losing the capacity. Now this is a 50 gigabyte, gigabyte drive. It's actually 64 gigabytes physically on the drive. They're using that extra 14 gigabytes for uh, formatting of the data and also for over-provisioning. You also get a bracket and the Dataplex license key in there. But uh, let me show you guys what comes in the box here. This is the, uh, they're labeled, that's the SSD box right there. This is the accessory box, also known as everything else. And inside here, they're providing you with a serial ATA data cable there. It's got the locking brackets on there. It's blue. It's got an L bracket on one end, so nice little data cable there if you don't have one already on hand. And you also get a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch mounting bracket. Since this is a 2.5 inch uh, hard drive, or SSD I should say, uh, it will not fit in your existing, in most cases, that have 3.5 inch brackets. So you mount the SSD to this bracket right there, and then you install this entire bracket into your computer case. And there's all the uh, required screws to mount the drive to the bracket and the bracket to the case. It's black. Next up we have the SSD itself, which is right here in its protective packaging. And then at the bottom we have the important bit, which is software. I've taped over the license key so you guys can't steal it. But you go to crucial.com slash support slash register adrenaline and you can download the Dataplex software from the site. So here is the SSD itself. As you can see, it's got your Crucial Adrenaline logo there on the sticker. It's got sort of a, a rough charcoal finish on the bottom and top of the drive. There's your pertinent drive information as well as your warranty void removed, if removed seal uh, if you want to take the drive apart. You'll avoid your warranty, so don't do that. Um, I will do you the favor of letting you know what's inside this drive, although I'm not going to take this particular one apart. The controller that's used is a Marvell 88SS9174. If you're familiar with Crucial's M4 SSDs, which are very popular, it's essentially the same drive inside um, from a mechanical perspective. Same Marvell controller. It's also got a 256 megabyte DDR cache, and it uses eight. 8 gigabyte 25 nanometer NAND chips, and that equals that 64 gigabytes total capacity in there. Now, uh, if you flip over to this side, you'll notice that you have a serial ATA data port, and you can use that with the included serial ATA data cable and your serial ATA power port. So if you're installing this in an existing computer, you will need a SATA power cable running over from your power supply, and you will need a, at least a SATA revision 2 port. Now, this drive is actually SATA revision 3 compatible, so you get better performance if you connect it to a SATA 3 port, um, but if you do have just a SATA 2 uh, compatible motherboard, don't worry, you can still plug that in, you'll still get way, way better performance than you would with your mechanical hard drive, and uh, since we're moving on to benchmarks next, I can tell you guys I do have some benchmarks to show you both the SATA 2 and SATA 3 performance. So here we are over at our test bed, and uh, by the way, our test bed is currently using an X79 chipset uh, from Intel, and we're connecting to the native serial ATA controller on that chipset to run our tests. Uh, now what I've done is taken a Seagate Barracuda 7200 RPM one terabyte hard drive. I went ahead and did a Windows installation on that, did all the updates, driver installations, and got our baseline results. So over here on the left is our Crystal Dismark baseline results for just the mechanical hard drive installed. And that's uh, pretty standard for a mechanical hard drive, as you can see, um, running the test on the drive, which is also running Windows, which isn't going to get you ideal results, but it will get you real world, real world results. 113 megabytes per second for the read, 102 megabytes per second sequential writes, and our 4K uh, results down here in the 0 0.3 to 0 0.9 megabytes per second range. And uh, a bit comparison number over here is input-output operations per second, which is one thing that SSDs can do really well, which mechanical hard drives tend to lag behind a lot in. So uh, 83, 200, 250, right in that range for the uh, various tests run that give us input-output operations per second. Now I have two tests. So the first test here is our results 
using the SATA 6 gigabit per second uh, connector on that X79 chipset. Uh, so here we're sort of testing the maximum throughput of the drive. Again, this is with the drive installed on top of our existing Windows 7 installation, and we are running the benchmark, as you can see, on our 930 gigabyte, 931 gigabyte formatted Seagate Barracuda 7200 RPM drive. So here you can see just the massive increase in the numbers, uh, 485.8 megabytes per second as compared to 113. Uh, the writes are all going to stay right around the 110 uh, megabytes per second range for all of the tests that I ran, and that's because as it's writing data to the SSD, it's also writing that data to the mechanical hard drive. If we go over here to input output operations per second, uh, we hit 6,000, 14,000, 72,000 here, which is uh, similar uh, results to the uh, crucial M4 SSD that if you just run it by itself, and 27,000. Uh, now, I did also connect this to the SATA Revision 2 connector on the X79 chipset. So here, top and bottom, SATA Rev 3 on the top, SATA Rev, Rev 2 on the bottom. So still a huge uh, performance increase compared to our mechanical hard drive, uh, but it is going to bottleneck the drive a little bit if you connect it to SATA Revision 2. Still here for input-output operations per second, we hit a maximum of just under 46,000. Next up, I ran ASSSD, which is a SSD-specific benchmark, and if you want to sit around for a while, run it on a mechanical hard drive. You will get uh, some, some sort of smallish scores here, see 14 on the read, 14 on the write, 36 overall. Again, similar uh, results here that we saw in Crystal Dismark, 123 megabytes per second on the read, 117 megabytes per second on the write. Again, that is just the mechanical hard drive connected by itself without the cache drive installed. Now here's the results with the cache drive installed, and here we can see some of the uh, numbers that you'll read on the box on the web page if you look up the Crucial Adrenaline, and that is over 500 megabytes per second uh, that we got on the read here. Again, our writes all stayed right around the 100 to 110 megabytes per second range for all of our tests, uh, but then we also uh, got a overall score of 349 on the read, 157 on the write, total score of 672, and again, you can see just the huge input-output operations per second jumps we get going from a, to an SSD from a mechanical uh, 12,000, 25,000, and uh, 70,000 was the max we hit with this benchmark. Uh, that's connected to the SATA Revision 3 uh, connector. Again, uh, also ran that on the SATA Rev 2 connector. So uh, here's the results for that. Uh, again, similar compared to our Crystal Dismark tests. And finally, we have Atto, which is kind of the old standby. It's been around for a while, used very much in uh, both hard drive and SSD testing. So this left side test here is the default test with no SSD cache drive attached. One in the middle here is the test with the SSD, uh, the adrenaline SSD drive attached. This is connected to the SATA Revision 2, 3 gigabit per second bus. And then finally here on the right, we have the cache drive attached running on the SATA Revision 3, 6 gigabit per second bus. Now, if these charts look different for you, bear in mind that it does scale them based on how much data is represented. So this chart goes up to 200 megabytes per second. This one goes up to 500 megabytes per second. This one goes up to 1,000 megabytes per second. Uh, so again, on this test, we saw similar results to Crystal Dismark, which is that our maximum read uh, with no SSD attached was about 128 megabytes per second at the, mo at the uh, fastest point. About 116 megabytes per second was the fastest write speed that we saw. Moving to the SATA Revision 2 connection, uh, we hit up to about 283, 286 megabytes per second right there on the read. And then again, our writes stayed pretty constant the entire time. We were at about 112 megabytes per second. Again, that is because it's writing both to the SSD and the mechanical hard drive when it's copying data over for the first time. Uh, now moving on to our SATA Revision 3, 6 gigabit per second test. Uh, we hit some very high numbers for the drive, 554 megabytes per second was the max we saw on the read there. Again, that is uh, comparable to the Crucial M4, uh, which is understandable since they roughly <laughs> the, they use the same controller and uh, the same NAND chips. Again, here with the writes, we were all about 112 megabytes per second overall. Now, when you initially install the SSD to your computer, you don't need to worry about formatting or anything like that. You just plug it in. It'll, it will be recognized in the BIOS, but as it comes unformatted, it won't pop up as a new drive attached to your computer. Uh, head over to the Crucial Download site. Uh, it will take you to download the Dataplex software. You just need to enter your first and last name and that license key that comes on the insert in with the 
uh, SSD. It'll take you through uh, downloading the Dataplex software. From there, you go through the installation process. It's pretty basic. It's very painless. It will automatically detect your boot drive and that uh, SSD that you've attached. Uh, you can only use this SSD right now to accelerate boot drives. Uh, potentially, that could be changed in a future revision of the software. Uh, but for now, it will automatically detect both of those. You just pull them both up. You hit Next, Installs, and then you're good to go after a restart. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the Crucial Adrenaline 50 gigabyte SSD cache drive. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.